Hello, my name is Rosa Maria Kostic Cisneros and I am collaborating with the Independent Theatre Hungary. I am here uh, sitting down with Mihaela Dragan, um, who will be talking about Romacin, The Age of the Witch, which is a work that she was involved in. And we will learn a little bit more about the production and the work from your perspective. But before that, I'd like to know a little bit about you as an artist and, and some of the work you do in your practice. Can you um, share some, some of your work? Yes. Sure. Hello. <laughs> Hello, uh, I am Mihaela Dragan, as Rosa said. I am an artist from Romania, based on Bucharest, but I also work in Berlin and different other places. Uh, I define myself as a multidisciplinary artist, and I am one of the actresses from Romance in the Age of the Witch, and I am also the author of the, of the play. I wrote this theater play during my residency at Royal Court in London, and uh, it's uh, it it uh, it says a lot about the politics of Brexit, <laughs> and also about the 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 new ave of the right wing in uh, in Europe and, and it talks a lot about immigrants, it talks a lot about witches, techno witches and future and it, uh, it talks a lot about my art practice on uh, Roma futurism and uh, concept and art concept and aesthetic that I tried to develop in 2018 when um, as a Roma artist, I felt this pressure of always talking about our oppressive history as Roma people or about the discriminatory present. And I just figure out that there is no mental space and no projection regarding our future as Roma people. We, we don't project ourselves in the future because we we were this transgenerational trauma of the slavery of the holocaust we have no you know no moments <laughs> where we can talk we can think about as in the future or as as scientists or roma people uh, as inventors. So basically, Roma in the age of the age of the witch is just to go further with these principles of Roma futurism, where the Roma culture and history um, in, intersects with technology and uh, uh, witchcraft. And why witchcraft? Because like I think it's a feminist political act to define as a witch, <laughs> knowing the, the history of the witches in Europe. And I think under this umbrella of the witch, many feminist energy people people that can be can be included because they are seen as um, outsiders <laughs> and, and so you were a, an actress within the work but also one of the authors um I'm the only I... author regarding this uh, theater play you're the only author yes <laughs> okay and so can you talk about um that process when um, why you wanted to perform the work and not necessarily see someone else perform the work? Yes, this is a very good question. <laughs> this is a very good question because I promised to myself, you know, working afterwards in the, in the actor's crew that I will never do this again. <laughs> okay. okay. Like I, I just, I just want to be outside, you know, to see my my writing, my theater play, how it's built. It. I don't want to be in interior because mm -hmm. I don't have the exterior, the outside experience that I found it that more um, exciting. Sure. And so that kind of internal, external um, lens or perspective. Um, how did you get some perspective on the work? Did you have um, 
colleagues from the from the theater company support you friends and family how how did you navigate that because i think this is true for many people that are actors and and writers that are somehow very close to the work so how do they step back how was that for you so first of First of all, it was like a very um, concrete issue that we couldn't find another uh, Romani actress to, to perform in the theater play because this, specifically this theater show, we realized it in another city of Bucharest. And most of the actors, of Roma actors, they are based in Bucharest. And many of them, they have engagements here in Bucharest, so they can't go for a long period of rehearsals in a, another city. So this was one of the problem. And um, the other thing it was like, I wrote the, the, the Kali, Kali character. It's so much, it's so much me. <laughs> and I, I was so, uh, self cynical <laughs> building the build this character that it was funny for me to 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 perform it and um, uh, but at the same time I really regretted that I wasn't outside and I can't see the show because the show is so beautiful it's it, the scenography the stage design is virtual and there are there are different 3d projections it's really uh, the stage design is a whole show by itself <laughs> so and also like being in interior like sometimes uh, it's you are subjective because you write the play and sometimes you know the actors or the director they get different impression and you 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 have to negotiate some some things but it was a really collaborative uh, thing what came out as a show and i was very happy to work with kina turnheim from berlin we invited her in romania to direct the theater show she uh, she also works on futurism on a lot as an art practice so i communicated with her so incredibly so she supported me a lot also my my colleagues from the from Juvli pen and also the people from the state theater in Sfuntu Gheorghe, another city here where we staged the the play so yeah there was a lot of people supporting me and i'm so grateful and i really want to say that even if i wrote the play like i got so much influence from afrofuturism mm -hmm. first of all <laughs> creating creating uh, roma futurism and i i read so many stuff that other people suggested and recommended me and also the people from the residency from the rail court from London, they advised me a lot in the process of writing the play. And I want to say this because uh, I'm, I'm always pro-collective and I think that, <laughs> you know, I'm really against this idea of promoting only one individual because I think the, cre the credit has to go to all the people who are involved in a theater show. And from my experience, from my collective, we, we get inspiration a lot from each other and we have so many discussions and we write collectively and we come up with uh, that sometimes the roles are flexible you know the also like the director the theater director you know sometimes uh, gets you know a lot of ideas from us from the actors and I think this is this is how the theater should look should look like. You know, there should not be power relationship between actors and the director. Sure, sure. And it's I also wonder, you know, if if that's a reflection of, you know, some Roma families, because I know that, that that's, you know, this kind of working together and that everyone has a strength and we can kind of put that together and, and that we're stronger together. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yes. And mm -hmm. and it's also not to be afraid of, of the differences that um, we have, but rather that's kind of like our superpower. Um, so, no, I, I completely agree. And I, I love this idea of thinking about the future, um, because as you said earlier, 
um, oftentimes that there's um, a lot of kind of looking back at the historical kind of context or maybe making a, a claim and saying like we're not this and there's so much more to us so this is really lovely to think about um, this kind of futurism and and technology and if we've learned anything in the last year is that um, technology is a big part of uh, so many of our working lives but also our creative practices um, so if you could maybe talk a, a little bit about something that stands out for you of that process of working with technology and the script um, you kind of talked a little bit about the scenography of the work but can you is there something that stands out that um, you'd like to share with us so yes i have to say that in the last years my art practice was focused on developing this concept of roma futurism and i really hope that this can become a movement and other roma artists can they can take further you know mm -hmm. the 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 ideas and create their own perspective on the Roma futurism. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's very important to create art that is focused on the future. I think it's a very radical idea, you know, to, to say and to share this idea that Roma people prevail in the future, <laughs> you know, uh, despite all the racism that we confront, despite the deportations, despite mm -hmm. the crimes, um, because very recently we heard about the, the killing of a Roma man, Stanislav Thomas from Czech Republic, in the same way as the police killed George Floyd in the US, in the same way the police killed them in Czech Republic. So these things are happening, you know? So I think like saying like, we will prevail in the future, we will exist in the future, you know, can be a very subversive um, and radical idea. Um, yes, we were talking about Roma futurism and um, this radical idea of, of, you know, staking a claim in, in that Roma will, Roma will prevail. Um, and you, you also mentioned um, the, the police brutality and the killing of um, Thomas. Um, so it, it feels quite important at a time when there's a lot happening that is true for many communities. Um, I love this, this um, kind of conviction that you have with um, that you know, the Roma community has a lot to offer and will also kind of pave its own direction. Is that um, true in the work? Do you, does the work kind of um, reflect this, this point? Yes, totally. It, like Roma Futurism reflects on our past, reflects on our history, reflects on the racism that we confront and comes with alternatives. So many times in Roma Futurism, I use fantasy or um, uh, uh, or this character, the cyber witches, the techno witches who want to change the oppressive history of Roma people because we have to ask ourselves, you know, without racism, without oppression, where the Roma communities will have been now, mm -hmm. you know, how, how the things will have been working for us you know, having the same privileges as white people, mm -hmm. as non-Roma people. And uh, this, is, this is why I like so much working on futurism because it's an escape, you know, and let us to, to imagine things, to work on fantasy, to work on fictional things, to, to promote the Roma subjectivity, the way in which we want to write or rewrite our history, to mm -hmm. say our history from our perspective, um, taking into consideration that our history was wrote, you know, by non-Roma people. Yeah. So, 
and also I think Roma Futurism gives a lot of uh, uh, hopes, you know, of uh, it's, it's this hope that in the future we can get rid <laughs> of all this oppression and how the world will look like when we have the power to, you know, to to have movement, to have global movements, to mm. to 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 have people that represent us to control to control technology and uh, the story the story of Romasin actually announces the era. Romasin actually comes from Anthropocene and announces a new era where the Roma techno witches have the power to control the politics of Europe. Mm -hmm. and, and it talks uh, it talks about a lot about the um, who has the power in this world, who has the power to, to leave legacy and history in this world, and how will be like when the immigrants, the vulnerable person, they, their dreams can become reality, how the world will look like, will be also, um, world will be also a place that is threatened by the uh, climate crisis by the racism also on or will be you know the world that we all dream about it and i talk specifically about the climate crisis because this is also one of the topics of the play like the techno witches they uh in the show they put this uh, this problem on the um, on the table mm -hmm. you know is we live now in the era of the climate crisis and our world will look so different in 20 years mm -hmm. so we also took this responsibility to to imagine feasible politics against uh, climate change um i don't know i it's 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 a it's a very complex theater play. It's, it's my latest theater play. I was so privileged that I had advisors working. It was the first time when I had advisors working on this theater play. So I, I, really, I really hope that people will get a lot of messages from it. <laughs> That's lovely. That's lovely. And um, thank you so much for, for also being quite bold and brave and thinking about um you know the the current topics but also the future um because it's very i think quite challenging sometimes to to be one of the first and to be visionary and to discuss some of these these bigger topics that affect us all and you know again um aren't easy to to navigate and you're doing that through work um through technology through the theater um, and it sounds like also that you're reflecting on that um, and your voice and place within this larger, broader narrative. Um, yes, I'm, I, I haven't seen the show live, but I would love to see this, this piece of work, particularly because, you know, um, th there's, there's something with technology that, you know, it changes the relationship of of the body to body and so I'm, I'm quite curious what that might look like live um so thank you so much thank you Michaela to you to all the advisors to everyone involved in creating the work um and yes thank you thank you too and please share share with me your thoughts after you watch the play <laughs> yes 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 and your criticism too because I'm very open to criticism <laughs> Yes, well, you know, I, I see criticism as actually a way to grow. Um, yes. And it's, however, how it must be, you know, depending on how it's delivered, but I do see it as, as a way to grow and, and welcome it. So yes, no problem. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you.